So we've just seen converted from binary from hexadecimal back to decimal is very easy using this place value notation. But we also need to be able to convert other ways, so from decimal into binary, from binary to hexadecimal, hexadecimal into binary, and then decimal to hexadecimal. So we'll look at those different ways of doing that. So for decimal to binary, the easiest method is just by inspection. So we know each column is just a power of two, so obviously one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and so on. So we just need to figure out what which of those numbers we need to be able to construct the decimal number. And then it's just trivial then to convert uh, that number then into binary. So we think about 97. Um, you know, what values do we need uh, to make that? So I'll take the next one in this list is uh, 128. So we know we don't need 128 to build that number. This is too big. So we know we definitely need a 64. Now, do we need a 32? So if we do uh, 64 plus 32 gives 96. So that's still smaller. So yeah, so we do need. So that now gives us uh, 96. So we know then 96 plus one will give us 97. So in that, you know, so in this case, we know that these numbers add up to give us a 97. And then it's a simpler if you um, if you work out if you've got the the different powers for the columns. It's just a case of putting one in that one. So we're going to do it in groups of four, remember? So I'll just tab that out with the zero and then 28 columns, so it's eight bits. So this is a, a byte value. So we need one in the 64 column, one in the 32, no 16s, no eights. So we know that's the binary value for 97. So binary to hexadecimal. You know, you might start thinking, no, that's going to be quite difficult. But it's actually very trivial. We just simply need to split this binary number into nibbles. So we have four bit blocks. And then we just convert each nibble to the corresponding corresponding hex digit. So for example, we've got this uh, binary byte value here. We need to split it into the nibbles. So this, that's obviously one nibble. This is the other nibble. And we just convert those. So a one 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 zero, so that's uh, fourteen in a um, decimal, which is e hexadecimal, and then zero zero one one is just three. So we just know that value in hexadecimal is a zero x e three. So very simple. So split into blocks of nibble uh, four, and um, convert each one. The corresponding hex digit very easy. Hex to binary is just the op obviously this opposite of that previous method. So now we've got a hexadecimal digit, and we can just convert that um, into its binary nibble. So f. So we know f is one 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 one, and then a is t uh, ten in so ten in the binary. Yeah, we need an 8 and a 2 and B is obviously 11 so we need an 8, a 2 and then a 1 so it's simply a case of looking at each binary sorry each hexadecimal digit and just converting that to its binary equivalent so decimal to hexadecimal is a bit more um, a bit more involved say we do it just by repeatedly dividing uh, the number by the powers of 16. So we just need to keep track of the remainder. So you just need to start learning your powers of 16. So 1, 16, 2, 5, 6, 4,096, 6, 5, 5, 3, 6, and so on. So you just divide the decimal number by the largest power of 16. That's lower than the actual number itself. And then the first hexadecimal digit is just given by the quotient, and then any room. You just divide any remainder by the next lowest power, and then the second hexadecimal digit is given by the quotient, and so on. And you just keep repeating this until we're not getting any remainders left. So we'll look at an example. So we've got 3,714 in decimal. We want to convert it to hexadecimal. So we know the largest power is smaller than this is 256. You know the, the next power after that is 4,096. That's too big. So we need to start with 256. 
So we'll just do 3,740 divided by 256. So that gives us 14 remainder 156. So we take our remainder then and divide it by the next lowest power. So we've got a remainder 156 divided by 16. That gives us 9 remainder 12. And again, take the remainder, divide it by the next lowest power, which is 1. So that obviously gives us 12 remainder 0. So we need to you just keep repeating those steps until you've got 0 remainder. And that's when you know the whole of counters are not uh, kind of counted. You know, entire the numbers are counted for. So then the actual values then are just given by these quotients. So here we've got 14, 9 and 12. We'll just convert those into the hexadecimal values. So here, 3740 is just given by 0xE9C. You know, if that's, you know, that might seem a bit, um, you know, say convoluted. You can, you know, cheat if you will. You can get a decimal number, convert it to binary, and then convert the binary to hex as an intermediate step because that, you know, that can sometimes be a bit quicker.